Rhode Island, scallops can be found under the sea or on your dinner plate, baked or steamed. At Roger Williams University, these little mollusks are found in a very different dish, a petri dish. Aquatic Diagnostic Lab Technician Catherine Marquis was honored at the 2012 Olympus Bioscapes Digital Imaging Competition. Her 25 second scallop video shows how they keep the water they inhabit clean for all aquatic life by filtering gallons of water per day. I would say that the scallop itself inspired me um, just for the sheer beauty of it um, and then um, also because of the filtering capabilities that shellfish possess. Um, all shellfish are filter feeders, scallops, clams, oysters, mussels, and scallops are just the most aesthetically pleasing um, shellfish of all of them. So. They were really one to represent that filtering capability. She received the same award the previous year for a photograph, also taken of a scallop. Her video was one of nine winners in its category. Overall, 60 entries were honored out of over 2,000 applicants nationwide. How did you feel when you found out that your video had won something in the competition? I was ecstatic. Um, I couldn't, couldn't believe it again, uh, especially because it was a scallop for the second year. Um, you know, scallop the first year, scallop the second year. I submitted each year four other entries of varying critters that you know I took pictures of, and it just seems that scallops really catch people's eye. And I maybe it's because of their eyes or what, but you know, it's just really people are really really fascinated by it. Marquis works under lab director Roxana Smolowitz, who remains proud of her decision to hire Marquis three years ago. I think it's really nice to have someone with, with that artistic bent to really kind of appreciate and be able to express that or show that to people outside of the laboratory. The video, along with the other honored entries, is currently making rounds across the United States with stops in museums and universities along the way. The collection will even make an appearance at Roger Williams University for what will surely be a hard-shelled summer. In Bristol, Rhode Island, for Broadcast News, my name's Courtney Little. Back to you, Brian.